and April's full joke. We are actually launching a meme coin and there is going to be an airdrop. If you're here now, you're early and you probably have the highest chances of getting the airdrop. Now, this meme coin, we think given the size of our community and the quality of the concept of the meme may be one of the biggest meme coins ever launched. And you're here now, so you got the highest chance of getting the airdrop and being early. Today, I'm going to break down all the details of the meme coin launch. I'm also going to talk about the meme coin craze on Solana, the meme coin uh, craze on base, and we're even going to go even more degen to talk about the meme coin craze on a new layer three called degen. I'm going to give you buy lists on the Solana, buy lists on base, buy lists on uh, degen, and I'm going to give you the full details of how you can get the airdrop for our new meme coin. So today's going to be filthy. I'm warning you in advance that today on a holiday, it's not a normal show. You're going to need to shower after the show. It's a degen, filthy, filthy, filthy show. Let's go, guys. A lot of people are here now on Easter because they want the airdrop. Others just want the alpha about the new meme coins on base chain. Others want the meme coins on Solana. And there are some people here who are really, really, really filthy, filthy, filthy degen, just like me. And what you want is you want the alpha on the new layer three chain. You want the buy list for the new layer three chain, which is the dirty, filthy, disgusting meme coin degen chain. So today you're going to get all of those things here and you're going to get details of how you can get the airdrop of our new meme coin. So listen, guys, happy Easter, happy Easter. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, what the hell are you waiting for? We are like halfway through the bull market. In fact, we are exactly halfway through the bull market. And you're not already a subscriber of Banter. Are you crazy? Subscribe to Banter right now. If you're here and you love the idea of the meme coin and you want to get some of our meme coin, I want you guys to destroy the like button. I want you to smash the like button, destroy it, obliterate it. Uh, I'm going to give you so much alpha today. I'm here on a holiday. Josh is here on a holiday. Hardis is here on a holiday. Uh, no one else is here on the holiday. I just thought I'd bring you some crypto love and crypto wisdom. And it's not an April's full joke today. It is a very, very, very serious show. So listen, first of all, happy Easter if you're celebrating. Um, I know that this is what my Easter was like. This is exactly me um, before Easter. So you know, the, the this is me preparing to launch into Easter to tell my family and friends about crypto. That's exactly what, what, what Easter's like. Uh, I know there were some people on Easter which were more like this, uh, which was amazing. Simple rule. If you control the keys, it's your Bitcoin. If you don't control the keys, it's not your Bitcoin. Your keys, your Bitcoin. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Your keys, your Bitcoin. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. Your keys, your Bitcoin. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. So I know your some keys. of you. I know some of you are like that. It's always nice to be at the family gatherings, especially when the price is going up. You know, when when it was the bear market, I avoided my family for like months and months and months because I took money from them to invest their money into Bitcoin. I lost a lot of their money. And I didn't speak to them for like a year because I couldn't go to any of the family gatherings and whatever else. So anyway, let me know how your Easter was. Let me know if you guys are excited. Let's talk about what's happening on the crypto markets this Easter weekend. So if you noticed what happened on the Easter weekend, it was something like this. It was something like this. We had this like low liquidity Easter pump. We had the Easter pump. It looked all bullish. It went up to 71,411. But you can never trust a low liquidity pump, and especially not on an Easter weekend. And so what we had after that was we had like a little correction this morning. You can't even call it a correction. It was like a correction for ants this morning. We had this like correction that went from 71,340 all the way down, all the way down for a few seconds. It went down 3.5% to 68,838. And we got a couple of liquidations on the way, but I mean, liquidations for ants. You must never, ever, ever trust a pump on a weekend a low liquidity weekend, because that is when they will flush you out on the Monday morning. And lo and behold, they did flush some of the inexperienced hands out on, on, the, on the Monday morning. It wasn't a real liquidation. I mean, just, as, this, as this tweet here says from Dark Crypto Lady, she says it was a, a flush out for ants. It was a liquidation for ants. That's exactly what it was. But regardless of how the pump came, we don't really care how the pump came. What we care about is that we finally had the biggest monthly close on Bitcoin. So we got the pump. 
and that pump took the price of Bitcoin up to uh, here, which was, I think, 71,000, 71,000, 70,000, above 70,000. That was Bitcoin's biggest pump or biggest monthly close ever, um, which is a very, very, very strong sign, very, very, very positive sign. And if we carry on like this, we can continue to go up. We can continue to go up into, into 80,000. Now, I must tell you a personal story uh, about this weekend. So this weekend, I decided I'm switching off. I'm not going to do very many, like much work. I'm not going to do many, many shows. But what I did do was I actually went to a festival, okay? So I went, to, I went to a party, and you can imagine me at a party. I was in a condition of, of no, it was ter terrible, terrible condition. Um, this was the party that I went to. Uh, it was Ben Boma live. So I went to see Ben Boma live in, in Cape Town. So you see, I don't, want to play the, I don't want to play the music, but you can imagine based on this what kind of party was a big, 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 big festival. Anyway, there's a moral to the story. I'm not telling you the story for my, for my health, but... Something happened this weekend. What happened this weekend when I went to this festival was it felt like a bull market. And the reason why it felt like a bull market is everywhere I went, people just wanted to take photos of me. Hey, Crypto Man Ran, I love your show. I love your show. Do you mind if I get a selfie? Guys, I was in a condition of like, I mean, my eyes were rolling into the back of my head. Now, you have to remember, you have to, you have to, if, if you were one of those people that took a photo of us together on Saturday night, because I never say no taking photos. But if you were one of those people that took a photo of us on Saturday night, do me a favor, please delete it. Don't post it because I was in a condition that wasn't good for photos. But the main reason why I'm telling you the story is because for the first time in a long time, I felt like we were in a crypto bull market because retail is here. A lot of retail folk are starting to recognize me. A lot of retail folk are starting to watch the channel. A lot of retail folk are starting to get into the, um, into the market and what you can see is you can see the confirmation on chain. So on chain, the fact that long term holders are selling means that there is demand and this demand is fulfilled through the ETF and short term holders who have bought 1.3 million Bitcoin since the beginning of the year. And that continues to grow parabolically. Now, Fred Kruger, who's a Bitcoin analyst, but he's also a mathematician, he says proof of work, Bitcoin addresses with at least 0.1 Bitcoin are growing exactly parabolically. He gives you some math formula, t, t to the 2, with R2 equal 97%. What he says is that this is now setting us up for a parabola. And if this parabola continues, he is calling for a, based on his analysis, which he's done on three other bull markets, he is calling for a three, uh, 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 I think this is $195,000 Bitcoin at the end of the cycle. So that is what we're saying. And what we're saying is that the retail investors have actually started to come into crypto, which they haven't been in for a, a long, long, long time. So why are these retail people here? I mean, yes, they are buying Bitcoin, but they are not here for Bitcoin. They are coming here for something completely different. They are coming here for meme coins. Simple. The retail investor has actually come into the market for meme coins. That's what it's about. There's $7 billion on chain volume today. And all people are doing is they are flinging cat meme coins or they're trading out of their dog meme coins into their cat meme coins from Solana to base to DJ chain. That is what retail want. And I know a lot of people aren't happy about this. A lot of people are complaining about this. A lot of people don't understand it. I mean, uh, on Saturday, I tried to explain to my wife what a meme coin is. I said to her, like, you know, like, there's a meme coin. The meme coin is called Dog with Hat. Uh, uh, dog with Hat has a market cap of $4.36 billion. I showed her the picture of the dog with hat. She's like, what are you guys doing? Like, what's wrong with you people? I'm like, I tried to explain to her, listen, it's a culture casino. It's a game. It's the most fun you can have. And actually, the truth is, before I went to the party, I thought to myself, I was having such fun trading meme coins. I was making so much money trading meme coins. I thought to myself, should I actually go to the party or should I actually just stay at home and trade meme coins? Now, if you have the same mindset, do me a favor, just pop it in the chat because I want to know that I'm not alone. I want to know that I'm not the only one who'd prefer to stay home trading meme coins and go and watch Ben Boehm alive. By the way, while I was at Ben Boehm, I was actually trading meme coins. I was like, kept looking at my phone and putting in trades all the time. But what I want to know from you, what I want to know from you is I want to know if, if, if you're in the same mindset. I want to know if, if you're in the same mindset. So anyway, uh, right now, what we have is we have the masses here. And the masses are here for what is probably the biggest mass use application of blockchain. Up until now, what we've done is we have built 
the rails. We have built the foundations so that we can bring in the mass users to have fun on the blockchains. And now for the first time, we actually have the users coming in to have fun with us on blockchain. And they're coming in to play a game. What's the game? The game is trading meme coins. I was saying we up until now, up until now, what we were doing is we were trying to build an application. We built the 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 mass, we built, we built the foundations for everyone to enter blockchain. We built the layer ones, we built the wallets, we built the exchanges, and we built this all because what we wanted is we wanted people to have a place to, to, to adopt blockchain. We wanted people to be able to take applications and use the applications to use them on blockchain. Now we created an application that people actually love trading. And what they love doing is they love playing in the culture casino. People love playing in the culture casino. That's what it is. They want to play in this culture casino, which we call meme coins. It's the best fun that you can have in crypto. And we shouldn't, a lot, though a lot of people are complaining about the fact that meme coins add no value and they don't understand them and they don't understand how a dog with a hat can have a market capitalization of five point or four point three seven billion dollars. Not everybody understands it. The reality is that this is the most addictive use case that we have created for 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 uh, blockchain. Nothing to be embarrassed about. The entertainment industry, the culture industry, the casino industry. Those are like the best uh, industries and the biggest industries in the world. And we've just migrated them to blockchain in a game that anybody can play. And as much as people hate this, Vitalik wrote a blog this weekend. And in the blog this weekend, he said, I mean, it was quite a long, a, a long blog. I'm not going to, you know, he says, what else could meme coins be? And he summarized it. He says, look, today it's speculative and it's fun, but it could be much bigger. It could be bigger as an on-chain game. It could be a meaningful contribution to society as a type of charity and, uh, and whatever else. And so we can't discount meme coins. Meme coins are here and they are here to stay. And it is the most fun. And people are actually making life-changing money. As you can see here from, this, uh, fr from, from all these things here, people are making ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous life-changing money. Now, why didn't meme coins work before? Because we did have meme coins before. Why didn't meme coins actually land up working before? I'll tell you, the answer is very simple. In the old days, we had Ethereum fees. The Ethereum fees were too high. We used Ethereum to trade meme coins and the network was ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously slow. It's not fun trading a meme coin when you have to wait three, four minutes for a transaction and pay $150 per transaction. But as Tushar says, he says that there are stories like this of meme coins actually being made. There are stories like this. And this time it might actually last. Why? Because we don't have to pay this line of meme coin fees. And that makes it a lot of fun. That makes trading meme coins a lot of fun. Now, I don't know about you. I've been trading meme coins all weekend. I wanted to call a specific meme coin in front runners this weekend, which was the Jensen coin. The, the people in front runners know this. Show you what, where I wanted to call it here. Then by the time I actually landed up calling, it went over here. I was waiting for it to come down. It came down to here, but now look at it. And the reason why I like this meme coin, the reason why I specifically like the Jensen meme coin is it's a Jensen meme coin around Jensen Hung, but these guys aren't a retard meme coin. They're not a retard meme coin. They are a meme coin that actually takes all the learnings from Jensen Hung, who's a very smart guy and has a lot of learnings. And they literally like have taken all his lessons. Like I say, like, you know, if you're feeling down, just listen to this and they, 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 I don't want to play the music because we will get a copyright strike. And they take all his learnings and all his lessons. So they're adding in like culture and wisdom into this retard, um, into the into this this retard story. We also had stories this weekend of a person that bought 178 sol worth of Mew. Now it's worth 42.8 million dollars. So guys, what's going on here is absolutely crazy. It's hard to explain to people that a dog with a hat actually has a bigger market cap than Arbitrum, but that's the reality. We've created a new industry, and this new industry is this crazy, crazy, crazy meme coin industry. It's very, very, very hard to explain. As Ansem says, says, the crazy thing about the meme coin super cycle, it is an unlimited amount of content. Anything that's been a meme on the internet can be turned into a coin and financialized. Catcoin season started, and it just spawned from zero. This can happen with any piece of viral content. Now, I picked up this, and I tweeted it yesterday. See that. This is um, 
Andreas Antonopoulos, he is one of the, the first um, uh, people that was preaching the Bitcoin gospel. Okay, He was like one of the first guys that went out and preached about Bitcoin. And what he was saying, what he was saying, this is a video from seven years ago. Listen to what he said. The same thing happened in children. Toddlers invent money in kindergarten. Blocks and rubber bands and Pokemon cards and other little tokens, abstractions of value that they exchange to strengthen social bonds, to express loyalty and friendship, to learn about sharing. Children will be building currencies. Only this time, these currencies will be global, unforgeable, and scalable on day one. A few years from now, Maria will be launching Maria Coin in her kin kindergarten to compete against Joey Coin. And it won't really matter to anyone. Until, of course, Justin Bieber launches Justin Bieber Coin, and it happens to surpass the market capitalization of 30 nations on this planet. And we are all writing horrified opinion editorials about how the world is going to hell. Now, Andreas Antonopoulos did this speech seven years ago. Seven years ago, as far as I know, it was impossible to launch a token on another token. And he predicted that we would have these meme coins that could be set up by children. Now, I know they're not set up by children, but some of the meme coins you we wouldn't say are, are not set up by children. How does, is the air conditioner on? Because I'm dying in here, bro. Um, also, guys, let me know if the internet's working. I know some people are saying there's internet problems. Just tell me all okay or not all okay. But anyway, this was predicted by Andreas Antonopoulos. And the, 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 what's going on here is we are in the center of the attention economy. We have created a game that drives people into the attention economy and channels people's attention into a, a culture casino. And that game is the most fun and most addictive game in the world. And it's called meme coin trading. And I know we're all, I know we're all uh, uh, addicted to meme coin trading because whenever I post a, a post about meme coins, Ev everyone, everyone loves the posts and stuff like that. And when I post normal posts, people don't really care anymore. All you guys want is you want DGEN meme coin tips because it's the most fun you can have in crypto. And we shouldn't be embarrassed. We've created the biggest game in the world and it's a lot of fun to play and it's addictive and it's making money and it's changing people's lives. And it should probably be here to stay. And that is why you have chains like Solana now almost at all time high. So Solana now almost at all time high, as uh, as you can see, ironically, or not ironically, I don't know, call it how you want, Solana actually has the same market cap as Mercedes Benz. Can you believe that Solana actually has the same market cap as Mercedes Benz? I know it sounds mental, but that's what the new world is actually about. But actually, this meme coin craze is not actually all about Solana anymore. It's very, very, very much about Solana. But as we told you a while back, we said to you, there's going to be a shift. In this new next cycle of the bull market, even though we think Solana is going to run, we actually think that there are going to be other chains that actually land up running a little more than Solana. And at the time, what we said to you is, one of them is going to be Telegram, another one's going to be Base, and it's going to be Move and, and, and whatever else. And what you can see now is that what we said to you over here is actually playing out. So if you look at the data, and this is the data, this is the D Explorer, which is a, a, a bridge, D Bridge Explorer. It shows you where the money is flowing to. Now, if you look at the money that's flowing out of Ethereum, some of it's going to Solana, some of it is going to base. If you look at the money that's flowing out of Solana, the majority of the money that's actually flowing out of Solana is actually flowing into base. So this thing that we said to you, where there's going to be a capital rotation from Solana into base is starting to happen right now. And as you can see, the base metrics are going absolutely, absolutely parabolic. This is the TVL of base. You can see how parabolic the TVL of base is. Now, for those of you who don't know what base is, base, 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 base is a blockchain. It is a layer two on Ethereum, which doesn't have a token. It was launched by Coinbase, one of the big developers at Coinbase, broke away and launched this chain called Base. The beauty of Base is it allows easy onboarding for anyone that's on Coinbase. And remember, Coinbase has 100 million customers to, to get onto this chain easily and frictionlessly. 
You don't have to download a MetaMask. You don't have to download any fancy wallet. You don't have to bridge money from place to place. You onboard onto Coinbase and you can use your Coinbase wallet and you can onboard directly onto Base really, really, really quickly. That is the beauty of Base. That is why we thought that Base was going to fly because we said the next phase of the bull market is actually about adoption. Who's got the best for adoption? Number one is um, uh, Solana because they've got network effect. Number two, Telegram because they've got 900 million phones in people's hands. Number three is Coinbase because they've got the Coinbase client base. And that's why we said that base was going to fly. And now you can see that it's actually starting to fly. So this is how we feel today because we told you that base was going to run. And that's exactly how we, we feel today when base actually has started to run. And a lot of people are going into base. Just look at the, the increase in base as TVL. Look at the trade volume on Uniswap. You can see that there's over $1 billion of Uniswap actually traded on base. Look at the transactions on base. They've actually gone parabolic. There's a meme coin rush on base at the moment. So what's happened is the Solana DGENs, the crazy DGENs that were actually trading meme coins on the Solana casino, they have now migrated their, their casino onto base. That's what they've done. Does it mean that they've left Solana alone? No, Solana is going to continue to pump. And as I said, as, as I showed you, this token that I was going to call into frontrunners, but like an asshole, I didn't call it, this Jensen Hung token, um, um, you can see it still continues to pump, even though this is not a token that is uh, specifically on base, right? It, so, so Solana Casino continues, but at the same time, we have another casino, which is now starting up on base. So people are saying, okay, well, now there's going to be a shift. The bees start to move. The bees move from Solana and they move to base. And they start trading the tokens, the meme coins on base because there's not many other things that you can trade. Initially, they were trading things like Aerodrome and all the other applications. But now the meme coin DGENs just want to trade on base. And they're starting to trade the meme coins on base. And so what you're seeing on base is you're seeing the following. Let me just refresh this. And we've got the spreadsheet for you. And of course, as always, we will drop the spreadsheet for you. You're seeing a whole lot of meme coins actually uh, exploding on base. The winner is one that we've been speaking about for a long time. It's called Based Brett. Um, and he's Pepe's best friend. You've, you've seen the, the meme. Uh, $700 million market cap. This actually went up much higher than $700 million on the weekend. Um, in fact, let me see if I can quickly call it up on the bubbles. And we can see the weekly. Uh, Wow. Wow, what's going on with our bubbles? Look at how big the, the bubbles are here. Yeah, but what, what is this bubble, this Zipto? Wow, okay, we'll have to check out what, what Zipto actually is. Um, so, that, so base is, uh, base Brett is actually one of the, of the tokens that, that actually has been flying. Toshi, which is Brian Armstrong's cat, that one has also been flying. That's on a market cap now of $197 million. Now you'll notice when I'm trading these meme coins, I'm looking at three things. I'm looking at fully diluted valuation. I'm looking at the number of holders because the bigger the number of holders, the better the meme coin is. And I'm looking at the liquidity. Now that's very important because later on, we're going to talk about the banter meme coin. And well, not the banter meme coin, but the meme coin that we are launching. And you, we'll talk about holders and we'll actually talk about liquidity and we'll show you how we're going to explode the holders and actually explode the liquidity. So the next one is, is Normie and then there's Roost, uh, which launched recently, uh, has an $84 million market cap. Um, then there's a whole lot of other ones. Now, I want to just mention one that I think is, is potentially um, a good one and one that we're actually involved with. Uh, it's called Benji. So based, it's, it's Benji is the token symbol, but it's base NG. So what is base NG? It is a, it is a dog. Now, every chain obviously has to have a dog, right? If you think of all the other chains, if you think of, of uh, Worth, every doge, every chain must have a dog. Now, who, uh, who is base NG, or if you, if you want to call him that, Benji? So I did a Google search. Let me just uh, refresh this. So base NGs, it's actually a real dog, and it's, it's believed to be one of the oldest dogs in the world. And the team actually sent me this and they said, look, you know what that is? That is a base NG. And this bald guy over here that's dragging base NG is actually Brian Armstrong because it's on base and that's Brian Armstrong. Anyway, that's the story. Um, but look, it is one of the oldest dogs. And if you believe in dogs on chain, then base NG may be the one. It's also quite a low market cap. Um, we are actually involved with them. You know this now. Um, so it's a $22 million market cap. So it's probably one of the lowest ones. And there are a whole lot of others. As you can see, there are a whole lot of others. So if you're trading meme coins on base, 
I'm going to drop this spreadsheet for you so that you guys can see the, um, the you guys can actually uh, understand the meme coins on base. Now, remember, 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 what you need to do is you need to make sure that you look at the number of holders and you look at the liquidity. Okay, so um, make sure that you're looking at the number of holders and make sure that you're actually looking at the liquidity before you buy any meme coins. There are no fundamentals to meme coins. There are no use cases to meme coins. Just make sure that when you are looking at them, you're looking at, at everything that, that you can to maximize your chances of actually winning. So that is um, base energy. The price is 19.22. The fully diluted market cap is $19 million. So that's that. So as you can see, now the game has become something like this. People are starting to look for meme coins on multiple chains. It used to be mainly Sol. Now it's Sol and base and uh, Sol and base. You can see Kyle Shashi says he's looking at Depi on base layer three, Fink, which is a Sol meme, Brett, KeyCat, and everybody's got their own version of the casino, right? And as a result, Coinbase is actually printing money because they are actually generating uh, the fees. Someone says Zipto is gone. What was Zipto, Josh? Just a little glitch on Coingecko. A glitch on Coingecko. So let's just look on the month. Okay, so there we go. That looks much more like, like a good month for us. Uh, you can see, so on the, on the month, Wurf has performed extremely well. Doge has performed extremely well. If you look at the year, just look at like the three biggest coins are all, yeah? Uh, Wurf, Bonk, Pepe. Those are the three biggest, uh, uh, most biggest performing coins. Meme coins are the biggest performing coins this year. It's, it's just the reality of where, we is, where we're at. Now, look, you can say that there is froth in the market. And there is froth in the market. If you look at the on-chain, there is froth in the market. And that's what Willie Wu says. He says, an alternative view to the market structure, which you don't usually see in the daytime, froth in the market is the median return from arbitrage trading firms uh, operating inside crypto. High returns equals lots of retail trading and lots of demand. And you can see that right now, we are starting to get quite a bit of froth in the market. And there'll probably be a correction. And when the correction happens, probably meme coins are going to go down very, very, very fast. But then they'll probably rise again because I think that this meme coin mania is actually going to continue and is actually going to be here uh, for a long time. So as I said to you, the bees, the bees went from Solana and then they went to base because it's easy to trade on base. It's very, very, very low fees. And mainly the applications on base that they are to trade are actually meme coins. But then for the real DGENs, the crazy DGENs, just to prove that there was, uh, uh, just to prove, just to prove to the world that there is, uh, um, that they are very, very, very degen. The real degens, the filthy people, you know, like the filthy, filthy, filthy people, they actually said, look, trading memes on Solana, not DJ enough for us. Trading memes on base, also not DJ enough for us. And then they said, trading memes on a layer three, which is actually a layer two on a layer two. So you got Ethereum as the layer one, then you got base, which is the layer two on top of it. So think about like, like layer one, Ethereum, layer two, base, and then like let's launch a layer three, which settles onto base, which then settles onto Solana. And they called this, this layer three, they called it DGEN, because that's what it is. Because if you want to be trading on DGEN, you have to be a DGEN, right? Like that's what it is. And so D, the real, real, real filthy, dirty DGEN meme traders said, it's not enough for us to trade on Sol. It's not enough for us to trade on base. We're above that. We are going to trade on this new chain called DGEN, which is a layer three chain. Can okay, Heaven knows why you need a layer three chain, but the DGENs decided that they are going to go and trade on the most DGEN chain, which is the layer three chain, which is the one that you see here, which is actually DGEN. Someone said, 2024 has been a year of memes so far. This is Axel Bitplay's very good account. He says, we saw meme coin season on Sol, then capital rotated to L2 base. And now that capital is actually going on to DGEN. So what is DGEN? In this day, I'll help you understand everything about it. What is DGEN? DGEN chain is a community-driven L3 blockchain that emerged from the Farcaster ecosystem, founded by an anon named Yatsik and built in collaboration with Syndicate. Now, he talks about how to bridge it and stuff like that. But for, for now, all you need to know is that it is a layer three, which is a layer two on a layer two. So layer one is Ethereum, layer two is base, 
and layer three is DGEN. And this is where the DGEN people are actually going to trade memes. And as Ansem says, he says, what kind, what the fuck kind of crypto levels of inception is it buying a meme coin on an L3, which is a meme coin rollup of a social app on built on, built on top of another rollup on top of Ethereum? That's pretty much what it is. Doesn't matter. The way I see it, the way I see it, doesn't matter what the layer one or the layer two or the layer three looks like. Can you create the most fun experience for the users? Can you create the most sought after treasure hunt for meme coins? That's where people are going to go. And I'll show it to you in, in I'll show you in, in a second. Um, and so DGEN itself hit a $2 billion market cap, believe it or not. So you can look at that here. You can go to Bubbles and you can just search. Uh, let's go to Daily just to make it easier. And let's just go to DGEN. I think it's in the top 200. That's the DGEN chain. And if you click on that DGEN chain, what you'll realize is that the fully diluted valuation of the DGEN chain is now $2 billion. And so we have another player in the house. Earlier on today, if you want more details, so one of our new guys, who's, his name is Fefe Demeni. Now what Fefe does is he just looks for ways to make money in crypto. He actually made a whole tutorial of how to trade on DGEN chain. Now that video is available on the channel. It's that video over there. Go and check it out if you want to know how to degen into into degen chain. Um, I also did uh, I also did a video. Well, first of all, what I did on on when I got back from the party on Saturday was I was a bit like I look I was in that condition. And what I did was I tried to bridge money onto degen chain. It's pretty complicated. It's not easy to bridge money onto onto degen chain. I thought about fifty times that I'd actually lost my 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 money trying to bridge money onto degen chain. Um, anyway, what I did was I bridged, I told people, I said, look, I'm buying Pepe on DGEN, which is actually called Depe. Okay. Now when I, when I did this, the market cap of Pepe on DGEN, which is called Depe was $5 million. And then I quickly went to front runners and I'll show you the post on front runners. Here it is. I quickly, uh, and I said, look, there's a there's a, 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 a an idea here, super speculative. It's a meme coin on the DJ chain, which is an L2. And I dropped step-by-step -step instructions how to do it. And those step-by-step -step instructions are still available on my Twitter. If you want to bridge onto, onto DJ, Pepe on DJ, and it just basically shows you how first you have to get your money onto base. Then once your money is on base, you have to use your money to buy the token called DJ, once you have DGEN, then you go to this mint club, which is where you mint new tokens and you can change that and you can do it. Now, remember, we got in at a market cap of $5 million. So we already made, front has already made a, a five a five X return, but this is still early. Now, you'll notice that not all the tokens have actually been minted. So you could go there now and you could actually mint your own tokens. The instructions are either in the video that Fefi made or the instructions are here on my Twitter under this tweet. And it's literally a step-by-step -step guide of exactly how to do it and what links to click. Now, look, not everyone's happy about the DGEN chain. Not everyone's happy about that. But um, I say that I don't really care where, where, uh, where people have the best time trading. If they want to trade, let them trade. And so, again, we've made you a beautiful spreadsheet, as normal. You guys love the spreadsheets. Of all the DGEN meme coins on DGEN chain. So you have DGEN Pepe, which is Pepe, but for the DGEN's already got 25 million fully diluted valuation. Then DGEN Swap, which is the first DEX. Be careful of the first DEX on a station, on a channel, on a blockchain. Why? Because the first DEX could rug. I'm not saying they will, I'm just saying be careful. And then you've got all these cats and dogs and, and all these de mainly meme coin DGEN garbage. I'm gonna put this link, I'm gonna put this link in the description. And then you guys can decide what you what you want to do, whether you want to do it. As I said, we got into DJ and Pepe at $5 million fully diluted because we think that this is where the, the DJs are going to go. These, this is where the DJs are going to go. All right, so that's Ethereum. And that is Solana, Ethereum, L2s, L3s, because we need L3s. Um, speaking of L2s, I do have an announcement to you, uh, 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 for you from Mantle. Now, for those of you who don't know what Mantle is, Mantle is a layer two on Ethereum. It's a full L2 ecosystem. Um, so what they've done is they've now launched this thing called a rewards station. There's a link below to the reward station. It says, introducing Mantle Rewards, a world of rewards and perks for uh, from your favorite Mantle eco dApps. 
Uh, lock MNT now to unlock 2.5 billion shards uh, with the mantle sharding with Athena Labs event. So this is linked to the Athena Labs event. Um, let me see if there's any other information here. I was actually digging into it. Lock your mantle on the mantle network and unlock two and a half billion of Athena shards, which is valued, by the way, at $3.5 million, just so you know, $3.5 million. We're thrilled to bring the MNT community Athena cover to shards with newly unveiled mantle reward station, where MNT holders will find rewards and perks from some of the mantle ecosystem dApps you know and love. So go and check this out. There is a link underneath uh, the show, and you can go and check this out. Uh, actually, I see that someone's just sent me a message. My friend sent me a message. He says... Uh, they can consider mantle definitely a plus. Okay, well, yeah, we do like mantle. So ma mantle is, 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 is a great L2. Um, and now they're actually starting to do rewards. All right, so now for the big announcement. Now for the big announcement. You all came here for that, right? You all came here because you heard that we were actually launching a meme coin. So let's actually cut the bullshit and let's actually talk about the meme coin and why we, are, why we decided to launch a meme coin. So yes, it's true. We are launching a meme coin. Um, World Meet Gummy. Um, gummy is a, a THC gummy, very, very, very potent, probably like 50 to 80 milligrams. Is that enough milligrams or do we need more milligrams? More than enough. More than enough. Okay, so that's more than enough. That is gummy. Now, we know that a lot of people actually take gummies and love gummies. It's an, he's an edible. He's, a, he's a, a, a THC weed cannabis edible. Uh, if you're hungry, take a gummy. If you're tired, take a gummy. If you need to sleep, take a gummy. If you need to get rich, take a lot of gummies. That's basically how gummies work. And he, we believe that gummy will be one of the hottest meme coins ever. So let's really talk about why we decided to launch a meme coin in the first place. So we know that meme coins and launching a meme coin is actually a skill. We know that in the new world, in the old world, you didn't need to know how to launch a meme coin, right? But in the new world, one of the skills you need to have, as Andreas Antonopoulos said, is kids will be launching meme coins and they will be trading them. And you need to know how to create and how to launch a meme coin. So what we're going to do is we are going to teach you step by step by step how to launch a meme coin. We're going to show you how to open a Twitter account. We're going to show you how to start a website. We're going to show you how to mint the tokens. We're going to show you how to burn the LP token. We're going to go through this step by step. And we are going to bring Gummy to life. Gummy's going to live on Solana. Gummy is a going to then be handed over to the community. So it's very important for us that you guys know that Crypto Banter is not keeping or involved in a single token here. We are, hand, we are going to launch the token and we are going to hand it over to the community as a community project. I'm not getting a single token. Josh is not getting a single token. Sheldon's not getting a single token. We are handing the community that once we create the token, we are handing the token to the community. So for all the haters that are out there and are accusing us of, I don't hey know. Hey friends, I, I got to do an emergency message. Emergency I did stream. not know how many people out there have hunched backs and drink soy. I made a post telling you an alert. Crypto banter is going to launch a meme coin called wow. Gummy. Okay, and I just wrote Gummy just so I can alert everyone. Now, if you honestly thought that was bullish. Bro, where the hell have you been? That is the most bearish thing ever. Okay. A most popular YouTube channel launching a coin. Warning, 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 warning. That's why I had to make another post, friends, because I was actually out because I couldn't write four essays going like, by the way, euphoria and fault. I'm just here. Yeah, warning, alert, alert. Crypto bands is going to launch a coin. Okay, didn't didn't say it's funny. I, I just it's amazing, man. It's amazing how many. A lot of people are going to get jealous. The reality is, if anyone accusing accuses us of making money or a land grab, we're not keeping a single token. In fact, if you go to the Gummy website, which is this website over here, it's called GummyOnSold.com, you can see all the Gummy nomics, and in the Gummy nomics, what you'll see is that ten percent. Now this is subject to change because we are talking to some of the exchanges, right? 10% of the tokens are going to set up and marketing costs. There's an airdrop of 30%. 60% is going to be raised into liquidity. And we're going to show you guys how to do the liquidity. 0% the team. There are no team. There is no founders. And 100% of the tokens are actually going to the community. So why do we do this? One, we think that given the size of the banter base, 
we can make this one of the most distributed meme coins in the world. If you think about base Brett, which has 48,000 850 holders. We think that the banter community is way bigger than that. And we can use this to actually get a whole lot of holders and have one of the biggest communities in the world. The next thing that you look at when you look at a meme coin is liquidity. How much money can you add into liquidity? What we've said is that any money that we actually raise, as you can see the tokenomics, is actually going into liquidity. So we're going to have massive liquidity and we're going to have a massive set of holders and it's going to be a community set project. In other words, we are not keeping any of the tokens. It's not like where well, there's a team and you have to work. Not keeping any of the tokens. In fact, the guys want to buy at the office, buy them online, buy them, buy them in the fair launch that we're actually going to do. And at the same time, we're going to educate people how to launch a meme coin because people think it's very difficult, but it's actually quite easy. You get, a, you get a Twitter account, you set up a Twitter account, which we've actually done. We, we've, we've launched the Gummy Twitter account. Now, truth is, I've been sometimes posting on this Gummy Twitter account. I think it's one of the coolest Twitter accounts out there. Um, this is what, uh, when the Gummy went to Dubai, because you know, Gummies aren't really allowed to go to Dubai, because when they do, they, it's too hot there, they melt. Um, you can see that this is the, the Gummy airdrop page. Uh, I love this post. Uh, I left that man legless, but in all fairness, he did that to me. You know, he bit the legs off. Um, and so this is the, we created the Twitter account. Uh, you can see that this Twitter account is absolutely exploded. By the way, follow the Twitter account because that is where you're going to get all the information about the contract when we actually launch it. So the Twitter account is gummyonsoul.com. Uh, sorry, is at gummyonsolana. And the website is gummyonsoul.com. And we're actually going to put a link in the description to the Twitter account, to the website, and later on to the Telegram when we actually show you guys how to launch the Telegram. Anyway, so we're launching THC. Gummy and Soul, this is your Gummy. He solves everything. Um, he is not a woke Democrat. I can tell you that. He's definitely not a woke Democrat. He, um, he, uh, uh, he tweeted the other day and he said, there are only two sexes. Where is that tweet? Here we go. He tweeted this tweet over here. We said, there are only two sexes. And that's because there were two sexes that were interested in launching Gummy with us. Uh, now, all of a sudden, there's four sexes, but we're not going to allow four sexes because we don't believe that there are four sexes. There's only two sexes, only two sexes. You can't have four sexes. So that is Gummy. Uh, this is Gustavo. Gustavo is our meme coin king. Uh, I want to show you what uh, Gummy did to Gustavo when Gummy met uh, Gustavo. Everybody took a Gummy, everyone was... Fucking high. This is like a billion dollar business and it might be the only one where the boss hands us gummy bears that have been like soaked in weed. But yeah, I got so high. That's really what happened to him. I was there, I was there when it happened. So anyway, so now you guys have met Gummy. Gummy, of course, uh, there's only one logical launch date for Gummy. His birth date is the is 420. There's no other date that a Gummy can launch. It's the Gummy launches on 420. That's when we will drop the contract code for everyone to, to be trading. He will be launched on Solana. As I said, there are four sexes, but there can't be four sexes because there's only two sexes. And so we have a partnership with one confirmed and one other which we're going to confirm. There's only gonna be two sexes and they're gonna list Gummy. Um, now look, there are lots of people trying to uh, um, uh, uh, scam. You see, they said, with that being said, presale.gummy.net, Gummy Om Solana. Be careful. We, we're not taking any money yet. So be careful. We are not taking any money yet. So as we said, do not we're not raising any money until uh, until I tell you that we're going to raise money for, for uh, airdrop on the show. We're not launching. We're not asking you for any money. But there is an airdrop. So people ask me, how can we get the Gummy airdrop? Because what you will see here is that a certain percentage of Gummy, 30% of the total supply, is actually going to the airdrop. Now, please tell Dan that he can put all the links now in the description. Dan, if you're listening, put all the links in the description so people can know how to get the airdrop. So how do you get the 30% that's in the airdrop? Here's how it works. Of course, it's free. First thing that you want is you want to go to Banter Bubbles and you want to go to Banter Bubbles on the app because the website points aren't ready, right? So they are on the app. Let me just quickly load it. You can see on the app, there's a yellow points counter at the top there. The more points you have, the more you use banter bubbles, the more points you have, the more airdrop you will get. 5% of all the airdrops, of all the airdrop tokens are going to go to users of banter bubbles based on the, uh, on the, on the, the usage and the points on the app. Then 5% 
of the airdrop is going into anyone that signs up and completes Sheldon Sniper School, which is starting in eight days. Now, where do you get the link? Let's just quickly go to the bottom so you can see this. Uh, crypto banter. And let's just go here. The Click usage this. and the... And let's go to... Here we go. So you can, you can sign up to Sheldon's uh, um, uh, Sniper School over here. So you sign up to Sheldon Sniper School using this link. If you complete Sniper School, by the way, Sniper School is free. Complete Sniper School, 5% of the tokens are going to school users. Okay, so Sniper School and Whale School uh, users. Then there is another 20% of the tokens. So where do those 20% of the tokens go? So we have partnered up with one and we are partnering up with a second centralized exchange. One of them is for people in the US and other and places because I don't really do a KYC. And the other one is one of our partner exchanges which we will announce in the next two to three days. Who are the exchanges? For now, I can say to you, Blofin, if you wanna sign up, go and sign up for Blofin. Um, yeah, go and sign up for Blofin. Blofin is an exchange that we've partnered up with. They will list the token on 420. So go and sign up to Blowfin and get yourself a gummy airdrop directly into your Blowfin account. But you must be a first-time depositor. And the second exchange that we're partnering up with is Bybit. So if you've got a Bybit account, or we think, it's not confirmed. As it says in the thing, it says not confirmed, not confirmed. Go and open a Bybit account and deposit money into your Bybit account. That way, when the airdrop happens, you guys will get it directly into those accounts. That will happen on, uh, on 420. So again, how do you get... How do you, the, what are the only ways to get Gummy? The first way is to buy it when we do the liquid, the raise for liquidity and every cent of that is going into the liquidity. None of that is being kept by Banter or by any employee of Banter or, or by anything else. It's all going into liquidity. So we have the highest liquidity for this token. Two, you can get an airdrop. Where do you get the airdrop? You can use Banter Bubbles, the app, the website, the points will be coming in one or two days. Use the app, download the app. There's a link below to download the app. Three, you can sign up to Sniper School over here. Four, you can sign up to Blowfin and deposit money into Blowfin or Bybit and deposit money into uh, Bybit. Or if you're part of Frontrunners, Sniper Club or Whale Room, by the way, you can't get into Frontrunners, so you, you may as well remove that link. You may as well remove the link. Um, yeah, people are asking, does Bybit include existing traders? Yes, if you've got a Bybit or BitGet account, sorry, not Bybit or BitGet, Bybit or Blowfin account, then you, you will qualify providing that Bybit actually participate. Right now, Blowfin has participated, um, it is participating. So open an account on any one of those exchanges, 5% um, of it goes to, to airdrop users. Again, there are no team tokens, there are no... There are no team tokens. There are no founders tokens. There are no, no one is keeping tokens yet. There is a marketing budget, a, a marketing allocation. There is an airdrop allocation and there's a liquidity allocation. And we're going to teach you guys how to launch your own uh, airdrop. And at the same time, I think we're going to create one of the biggest memes in the world, not only in terms of holders, but also in terms of liquidity. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Are you going to participate? You want some gummy? Maybe I should take a gummy. Now, oh, imagine I go home now and I'll be completely screwed. Let us know. Also, let us, I mean, if you've got any cool content, just send it to Gummy in his DMs. So we'll open Gummy's DMs and you can send us any content. Uh, again, it's your project. We're going to hand over this. We don't want this project. It's going to be part of the community. So if you've got any cool uh, content that you guys want um, around Gummy's, uh, around Gummy, just send it to us. It's your project. It is, it is amazing. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow for like the regular programming. And until then, remember, trade well, my friends.